In the Carolina Kitchen today, a time-honored recipe you will love. This chicken cacciatore comes with a few secret tips for making it even better. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Executive Chef Sean Ruddy with the High Hampton Inn and Country Club is here with us. And you're doing something that many people have heard of, but maybe not everybody has tried to make at home. Right. Today uh, we're going to do a chicken cacciatore dish, which is something we feature on uh, one of our international nights that we do. This is actually a recipe that was my mother's recipe, so uh, honoring her today. Very special. So, and you're going to share it with us. Exactly. Okay. So basically uh, what I, you want to do first is I start with chicken thighs with the bone in and the skin on. So I've actually browned those up ahead of time just to save a little time for the show. And then we're going to saute some onions. I'm going to cook that down. Some minced garlic. And then we're going to add some uh, white mushrooms, which I've just quartered. We could use any mushroom. So we're going to let that cook for a little bit, just till they soften up. And start to smell the aroma of that garlic in there. Mm -hmm. All right, then after that cooks for a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit of white wine just to deglaze the pan. What kind do you prefer? Just a dry white wine. This is a Chablis. And as that cooks, you want to reduce the wine till it's almost dry. Okay. Then we're going to add in a can of whole peeled tomatoes. Then as this is cooking, you're going to take this potato masher, which you've probably seen in your kitchen but never used it. And you're going to mash <laughs> all the tomatoes up in there. So we're just going to let that cook. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh basil in there. And I didn't chop it up. I just added in a couple of leaves. Mm, it smells so good. It gives it a nice flavor. Then we're going to take uh, the chicken and we're going to put the chicken into a roasting pan. And you said you like thighs. I do like thighs. I think they have the most flavor for this dish. Okay, then we're going to just ladle this mixture over the chicken. Then we're going to add some potatoes to it. Okay. So it has potatoes, I didn't actually mushrooms. realize it had potatoes in it. And you want to get just a little bit of the sauce on top of the chicken. You like red potatoes for it? I do. And I leave the skins on. I'm just going to quarter these up. And these are going to get added into it. And they're going to bake in the oven, so okay. they're going to soften up there. And I remember this dish I bet, yeah, I bet this every is one Sunday. of those staples that you remember your mom making. Exactly. So now we're going to add a little bit of Italian breadcrumbs to the top mm. and some Parmesan cheese. This is going to bake in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. Let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. Chicken cacciatore. Yes, this is mom's recipe. Yeah. Not my mom, but Sean's mom. Either way, it looks fantastic. Thanks for sharing that with us today. Thank you, Holly. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.